We're also very interested in how advanced imaging can help guide women's choices and decisions. We are very interested in a trend that we've seen across the country for many years now of more women opting for mastectomy rather than breast conservation. There were some centers that were concerned that women were opting for mastectomy rather than breast conservation when they were diagnosed with breast cancer because of MRI. That MRI was showing more disease than at first had been suspected on the mammogram or ultrasound and women were very quickly saying, I just want to have my breast removed rather than, well, let's find out what the breast MRI is showing and determine what the best surgery is. So we were worried about that as well, and the American College of Radiology Imaging Network, Akron, had a very large database on women who had all undergone breast MRI at the time of their breast cancer diagnosis. And what we found in that study was that there were very specific features of women that were correlated with the decision to have a mastectomy. Younger women were more likely to choose this, and that makes sense. They have a longer period of life where they would need to continue to be surveyed and worry about a second cancer event. Women with family history, women who were at high risk for a genetic mutation, those women were more likely to opt for mastectomy. Interestingly, women with DCIS, a pre-invasive breast cancer, ductal carcinoma in situ, were more likely to opt for mastectomy. Maybe because with DCIS, it can be a cult on imaging, so, so the margins are harder to get our, our arms around uh, when we're trying to determine the best surgery. What we did not find was that breast MRI was correlated with mastectomy. So we looked at all the women who had false positive MRIs, where we saw something that was suspicious, and it ended up being suspicious enhancement, but not cancer. There were no differences in women with false positive MRIs opting for mastectomy versus women with true negative MRIs. So that was reassuring, because we don't want women to make decisions about mastectomy based on hearing that their MRI saw something suspicious.